is always one day. Pizza Kitchen, where you get pizzas of various sizes, and Lindsay is still here, one of the first times ever. <laughs> okay, so there's there's pepperoni and cheese. Dan, you got cheese. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the two pizzas that are not the traditional ones are... This is the Mean Green. Which is like... It was, I, I had green one. green tomato, pesto, ricotta, mushroom, and Roland got the same, but he got jalapenos. I got well, no it, jalapenos. Well, it, yeah, it comes with jalapenos. Yeah. That's just... No Roland. Living your life. <laughs> the right way. You enjoy it. I think you would be fine with jalapenos. No. Now, you've been down here long enough. You've had my buffalo chicken dip. You've done, it's true. You've done okay. You could have done it. Okay. <laughs> next time, next time. I got something a little different. This is the Reuben. It's got uh, pastrami, Thousand Island dressing, slaw, and hot pickles. It's good. It's really good. Um, I haven't had pizza in a bit, to be honest. What's the difference between hot pickles and regular pickles? They're just cooked? They're probably, uh, I think they're marinated with peppers. Like in the spicy. pickle juice, you put like jalapenos in the pickle juice. Yep, that's right. That sounds really good. Yeah, they're, they're spicy. You know what? They'd be really good fried. Mm. I've never had fried spicy pickles. Oh, that'd be interesting. But uh, I would be down for that. When we make jam next time, we'll also pickle bit something and we'll do spicy beans. I will also Can get a restaurant dressing for dilly beans. It's green beans that you grind like a pickle. Can you make pic good. can you make pickle jam? Yes. Yeah. Would that be disgusting? Also, like hot pepper jam. Is that just rubbish? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that kind of makes sense. <laughs> Shut up, Lindsay. <laughs> Sorry. I thought we invented something new. I did. I did. I thought I had something there. Is everyone adequately sick? My apologies. Um, 4-6 is done. Um, I tore through that. There was actually more footage in, in that video than... Um, any of the other Japan stuff thus far, and if the file sizes are any indication, it is the biggest. And I did it. In whatever that was. Two days? Yeah. It's not 100% done, but the the timeline is, is cut. Uh, at this point, I just got to go through and do color correction and maybe tweak some audio stuff, but otherwise it's done. And it feels great. It's really weird working on, on vlogs like this. Like, it's weird for working on vlogs in general because there's no time for pure perfection. There's just not. There's always another project. Every single day that goes by is a project. And especially when you get in a, in a spot like this where you're behind by a month or more, it's, it's important to just do real good, real fast, and then say you did it. Um, there's no time to like retweak things forever. So I just try to be really good at what I do the first time and it may only get 98% of the way there, but that's gotta be good enough. Uh, that being said, I've really enjoyed the, the Japan vlogs I've been editing. I feel like I've done a good job. Uh, it's just like there, there is no time to say, well, you know, that was a good cut. Let's go back and, you know, cut some other parts of it, you know, a different way and see how we feel. It's like, no, you keep moving. Anyway, productive day. I felt, felt really good about that. Um, other things that happened today. Close that because I'm not going back in there. Uh, back in February? Back in February, uh, we ordered new lights for Mao, it was actually a subject of a vlog where we showed how, how bright the lights got. Um, Mao had only had a chance to use those in like one video, maybe two, one or two videos because it was a while before we actually got them set up and, you know, so she could use them. And uh, whenever, you know, we got those two videos done, uh, near the end of the second one, what was the one you were working on where it died? Do you remember? It was, wasn't it the middle of it was Mother Three Island, Nowhere Island. Yeah, but it was like right at the end. Yeah, when I was doing the close-up. Yeah, yeah. So when Mal was working on her Mother Three Nowhere Islands piece, um, she had basically finished the piece, and we were shooting the end shots, and the light died. Except it didn't. We thought the light died, but it turns out the light itself was fine. The AC adapter for one of the lights died, and I was like, "Well, that's not good." But we we tested it with the other AC adapter, and the light themselves was was fine. So I reached out to the company. And uh, those lights, those lights are only warranted for 30 days, which is 
kind of absurd because the, they're very expensive, but also in the realm of like cinema lighting, it's like a drop in the bucket. Like lights can get so, so crazy expensive. You can spend thousands of dollars on lights. We didn't spend thousands, but we did spend a, you know, a fair bit. Um, we went kind of a cheaper route, but like it was still, it was still expensive. So I reached out to the company and they were super cool about it. And they said, actually, um, yeah, they said they'd have to check with their warehouse team, but they would send us one. And it took a little while. And then they said that they didn't actually have one and that the only way they could do it is if we <laughs> sent them back an entire light to like replace an entire kit, which I thought was a little crazy because like the light was fine. But then today, randomly, <sighs> this arrived, which is great. So uh, shout out to Fovatech. We're not sponsored by them or anything, um, but they, you know, took care of it. They didn't technically have to. I knew what, what, what I was signing up for with a 30-day warranty, and it's been 90 days, and they were like, yeah, that's cool. We'll send you one. And what's nice is that they actually, I learned later, they actually sell these. So if you want a replacement AC adapter, they actually sell them. But they just sent us one, which was really cool. So, yeah, if you uh, if you're looking for lighting, uh, they sell stuff. They sell stuff on BNH, and they also sell it on Amazon. We get ours on Amazon. Uh, it's certainly cheaper than some of the alternatives out there, and um, you know they may not be the best, but their stuff's you know pretty good. It's just if something goes wrong, we want a company that's going to be able to you know cover something, and they did in this case, which I appreciate. Now, what are you making at midnight? Uh, the apple cider. Oh, something that doesn't have caffeine. Yes, correct. Because Mallory does not, uh, not do well at caffeine. Um, we're ending off our night. It is midnight. We're getting ready to go to bed. Um, we're ending off our evening with, by, by having some cookies. Where are the cookies? They're um, by the here. My mom picked up some cookies. These are not homemade. These are from uh, like Costco or Sam's or something. But uh, my mom picked up some for Memorial Day whenever Dan and Lindsay were over and there were still some left. So uh, earlier, uh, Mal and I had some uh, some dinner and we had these cookies and I was like, should we have the cookies? And I was like, no, let's go back to work because there's still so much to do. But right before bed, we'll, you know, kind of wind down, wind down and, and have a cookie. So that's what we're doing. I want something to drink too. Go get something. But I don't want apple cider. They have, we have caffeine free coffee. Decaf. Oh yeah? We have a lot of decaf because we don't normally drink it. I might have a cup of that. I actually, I can drink caffeinated beverages before bed and it's not a big deal. Like Someone found a new toy. I'm, gl I'm glad that he's <laughs> feeling comfortable to do that though. Um, like I can drink coffee and it doesn't affect me. Um, but if we have a ton of decaf and it's not getting drank, then I'll just drink it. Because we get um, we get those uh, variety packs occasionally of the little K-Cups. And they come with decaf. And they come with decaf and then no one drinks them, so now we have a bunch. But yeah, I'll, uh, maybe I'll drink that with a with a cookie. That'd be nice. Maybe throw Sagan's toy around? Where's your toy, buddy? Huh? Where is it? Also, you can see that we got, uh, well, we didn't do a whole lot, but we got some of the D&D manuals. Up there. We'll have to put more soon. Where's your toy? Where is it? Is this your toy? He just loves paper balls. Hey, go get it. <laughs> One of the fun new things I've discovered I can do with him is um, I can just toss the, the paper ball like up the stairs and he's like and then he'll get it, put it in his mouth and bring it down. He's cute. Get it. Get it. Or don't get it if you don't want to. But please, please actually get it. Because I took, I took the time to frame it. Oh my God. And as soon as, as soon as I walk away, he'll do it. There he is. Thank you. Thank God. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Things are getting done. Jeez. And it feels good. And uh, I haven't really updated about the bed, but like every night we've slept in the bed has been really good. I slept like a rock. Yeah. Like I don't wake up except when the sun comes up, but we did the curtains up last night. 
I mean, that helps too. But I, I feel like uh, I feel like Mal Mal's review would mean more because I feel like I just sleep pretty well in general. Yeah. Um, that being said, I've <laughs> for what it's worth, I feel like the quality of sleep that I have gotten on that on that mattress has been consistently high, basically. Uh, and that feels good. We also slept through an alarm earlier. <laughs> so it must be a great mattress for sleeping through alarms. All right. God, now they're both after paper balls. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?